Nigeria is cursed. Here's why. So welcome back to the Apex Morning Shift, your number one ALGS morning show on the planet. Oh, that is a fact. Olé, 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 olé. We actually have a lot of things that happened this past week, so let's get right into it. Native's IGL Vane tweeted this out. <laughs> Announcing that he will be retiring from Apex Competitive. He said, small life update, focusing on school going forward. Haven't enjoyed Apex for a while and it's just brutally miserable trying to force myself to try to enjoy it. Made countless memories and accomplished a lot from winning champs and 100 Thieves to the OXG run of dominance to the little kill race land I won in 2019. I love Apex and wouldn't trade these years of my life for anything. Definitely one of the most mechanically talented mouse and keyboard players we've ever seen. You'll definitely be missed. Which means that Native is now looking for an IGL. And they've recently been trying out Stunny, who used to play with Crook and Karma as an anchor when they were signed under Drop in Gaming, and now taking on the IGL role, playing with Snipe Down and Cersei, looking really good. Seeing how they mesh well together already, I do think that Stunny is going to be the right move for Native. So excited to see if they move forward with it, and if they do, excited to see them grow. Now, while all of this was happening, for those of you who didn't know, this weekend there was the Taiman Plus Japanese 1v1 LAN, which was unfortunately held offline. So for those of you who want to rewatch it or wanted to watch it, we can't. There's no VOD, there was no stream about it. But the semifinals came down to Satuki versus Hammer Drill and Yuka versus Hal. Both Hammer Drill and Hal beat their opponents and faced off against each other in finals. And the winner of the 1v1 tournament is Imperial Hal. Hey. That's our CEO. CEO of 1v1s? What can he do? Seriously. Well, he can't throw a control, right? <laughs> And speaking of Falcons, unfortunately, Zero will not be getting his visa in time for next weekend, so he won't be able to participate with Falcons in the first BLGS, which, by the way, for those of you who didn't know, it's next weekend, BLGS 1. Super stoked for that. And looking at Battlefy, we can see that Falcons added his Watson to the roster. All right, pause the video. Imperial Hal just tweeted out that unfortunately his Watson isn't available this weekend for BLGS 1. So Falcons are looking for an emergency sub. Not too long after, he responded to his own tweet saying they found him. So to everyone that was looking forward to seeing his Watson compete with Hal and Waltzy, I'm so very sorry. We think it's a Sivian that will be their new sub. All right, back to the show. And another player who also hasn't gotten his visa in time is Jen Byrne. <laughs> Which means that Dojo is also looking for a sub for the first weekend of BLGS. So we'll just have to wait and see. I don't know who they're going to pick up, but it's going to be interesting to watch. Now, looking at this week's scrims, there were only three that were hosted by Oversight Esports Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Fury with first on Monday, Dojo with first on Tuesday, and Fury with first again on Wednesday. They really are the scrim goats, huh? <laughs> I'm gonna get to that in just a moment. Now, once again, I've compiled these three blocks of scrims into an average points per scrim leaderboard to give us a better idea of these teams' performances. And here are the results of that. Fury with first, LG second, Dojo third, Stallions fourth, and TSM fifth. Now, I know you're wondering why the title of this video is why Fury is cursed. Well, this Fury roster is known to be absolute scrim warriors, like Kai said, because when the big events come around, they fold and struggle a lot. Now, there is an explanation to this. I actually had a conversation with Native's coach, Dan, who used to also coach OXG, FaZe, and SSG. And he explained to me that scrims allow a lot more freedom of movement for teams. Because of the fact that some teams don't take practice as seriously, teams are not pressured from numerous different angles. So it's in lobbies where there's a lot more at stake, like LAN events, that create tighter lobbies which require better thought out rotations and decision making. So instead of playing for open god spots, they should spend these scrims putting themselves in ch spots and work out of them as a team to build better habits. Because in Furious situation, it looks like an adaptability issue on their part when they're faced with tougher and more serious lobbies. Vaxlon, Keon and Madness, each individually and as a team together have proven it multiple times before that they're more than capable of performing very, very well. Individually and as a team, so great. If they fix that adaptability issue, I guarantee you, we're gonna see them at the top, even in the best lobbies. Oh, I also forgot to mention a little bit of drama with Bleed. They haven't been paying their players, so we'll see what happens well, with that. Very unfortunate. Before Backlash, they're not paying their CSGO they're players. Valorant team either. I thought there was drama in CSGO too. I think they're Valorant team either. So we don't know how it's gonna translate to Apex. I really, really hope so. Dropped has got to be the most unlucky pro player I have ever seen. Really From is. getting disconnected in LAN events, orgs just dipping on him, to now this. I really, really hope that's not what happens with the Apex squad. We'll have to wait and see. As for me, that's it for today's episode of your number one ALGS morning show on the planet. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to turn the notifications on. New episode every Tuesday. Make sure to follow me on Twitter. Uh, I'd be posting some updates and stuff like that about AOGS and also follow our cameraman. Yeah, yeah. Keep me ahead of cameraman followers, please. Thank you. <laughs> I'm actually catching up, bro. Well, not anymore. Now they're following me. In next week's episode, we're going to be talking about BLGS 1's results. So can't wait for that. In the meantime, have a wonderful week. Take it easy. Like and subscribe. Peace.
You no. have been on your phone the entire episode. No, I haven't. Oh, I hit the camera. 